So you've got your sales invoices in zero, you've got your purchase um, bills in zero. So what we want to do now is we want to match these up to your bank account and do what we call bank reconciliation. So it's making sure that everything matches up um, and you've made a record or kept track of what's in your bank account. So zero makes this super, super easy. So if you go into the bank account tile, what you can see is you've got here is 29 items to reconcile. So this is how many transactions in your bank that you need to match up. So if you click on here, and what you'll see is the bank rec screen. And basically what this is, is it is a giant game of snap. You are matching on this side, the, the items that are shown on your bank statement to this side, the items that are in zero. Or if they're not already in zero, we're gonna put them in zero so that everything is accounted for. So we're going to start with the easiest. I'm not going to go for all these 29 items, so don't stress. I'm just going to give you a rough overview. So first of all, what we can see is this money coming in from Ridgeway University with a reference of the invoice number. Zero scanned it, and it's found the invoice that that matches to. Now, what it looks at is it looks at the amount first, and then it will look at other things. So if it finds two invoices with the same amount, it may pick up the wrong invoice. So don't stress if it does happen. Um, but in this case, there's only one invoice of the same, so it's picked it up. So it's in green, we've confirmed it's the correct one, it's got the same invoice number, it's the same company, we clicked OK. And the same going out as well, so this, um, payment to Truxton Property Management is picked up. That's the rent. We've got a payment, which is the same date, and that's correct. Now we're going to come to some that aren't so easy. So we've got here a payment to Smart Agency, which zero isn't picking anything up. So first of all, we're going to go and see if we can find a match. So we're going to click on find a match, and it will bring up all of our outstanding invoices. So what we're going to do, or bills, sorry, what we're going to do is we're going to search by smart. And what you can see here is there's actually two invoices that total the amount. So we're going to tick them both. This now turns green. We're clicking OK. So that's going to mark both of those invoices as paid. And obviously it reconciles one more transaction. Right. And here we have got a deposit from I'm not going to say that because I'm going to say it wrong. So we're going to go find a match again, and it's going to bring up the invoices. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find, do a search on that company. You don't need to write the full company either. Okay, they're not in there. Good old demo company. So I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to find an invoice. We're going to pretend... Right, so let's just pretend this actually is a payment from Bayside Club and it's a deposit. So they've actually paid the full invoice is 3,200 and they're paying a deposit of 2,000. So you'd tick here and you'd click split. And what that's doing is then it's allocating a part payment. And then you can see here underneath, it's got it again with the amount outstanding and this turns green. So it's allocating a part payment against their invoice and it will leave that balance of 1,200 still outstanding in the invoices. Um, and this is just because the dates are slightly different because I'm playing around and it's not accurate or real. <laughs> Um, so that's how to do like a part payment. And you can do that with bills as well. So it, it works both ways. Um, and again, here we've got another part payment of a sales invoice. Um, so you can do the same again. Find a match. City limousines. It's telling us it's 0017 part 0017. My face is in the way. Let's move me up there. So we're going to split. And job done. Right, so let's move on. So you've got some here, got the bank fees here. So you're not necessarily going to have a receipt for that. You don't necessarily need a receipt for it. So you're not going to set it up as a bill. So we can just do it within zero. We can just create it. So we'd pop in 
the details and click OK. And what you can see here is it's remembered it from the last time we did it. So it remembers that this is Ridgeway Bank. It remembers the last time we put this to bank fees and we said it was a bank fee. So it's already pre-populated for us. So we've just got to double check it that it's correct. Click OK. What you could also do for bank fees is set up a rule. Um, so let's just pretend this is bank fees again, and I'm going to set up a rule. So you go to options, create bank rule. You'd change all the details in here. Um, if the, some of the wording or something is likely to change slightly, you can put it as starts with or contains. Um, that just ensures that it doesn't, if something changes very slightly on the information that comes through from the bank, it's not going to throw it up as not seeing it. You'd then set the contact. As I said, we're pretending this is the Ridgeway Bank one. And you put it as bank fee, two bank fees, no VAT, and it's 100% will always go as bank fees. And then you'd save it. And then what's happened here is it's then bringing it up that it matches a rule, just like this 7-Eleven. And if you're happy that that rule is correct, then you can do it. You can view the details if you need to check it. If it's not, you can say, nope, don't apply that rule, and you can do it separately. All right, and the last thing I want to show you is how to transfer. So if you've got two bank accounts on zero, and you're transferring money from one account to another. So say like a savings account, you put money aside and save up for your court tax bill. Um, there's a really easy way of showing that on zero. So you'd have both of the accounts on zero as bank accounts. And then what you do is you use this transfer feature. So here you've got money coming from the savings account and there's only two bank accounts. So this one's nice and easy because you just got one to choose from. So you'd say it's coming from the bank account and click OK. And then what will happen if you scroll up here, you can go into the savings account. And what that'll do, this one hasn't got bank feed, so it's not going to show on there. But what it does is it creates that transaction in the savings account as well. So it's there to reconcile to the bank feed from the savings account. So this is really handy because it means that you're not saying that money's going out of one account and then in the other account it's coming in. It literally is just showing that transfer from one account to the other. Right, so let's go back and I'm just gonna show you one last thing in the bank rec. So you've got this discuss tab. So if there's something that you don't know what it is, or you've got questions, if there's more than one of you who are doing it and you need to talk to one of each other, or you're working with your accountant, for example, and you're not sure where to code something, you can use this discuss and you can put little notes in here. So this could be if you're leaving a note for your manager or your member of staff or your accountant, you can say not sure where this goes, it's cleaning, what should it be? Oops, can't spell. Or it could be something like a waiting invoice because you've requested a copy invoice. So anything there that will basically then allow you to talk between each other or is there as a reminder for you in the future. So maybe it could be that you're waiting the payment not payments, sorry, you're waiting a copy invoice because you haven't had the invoice for this one, but they've taken the money by direct debit, for example. Um, or it could be you've received money, but it doesn't add up to the bill, so you're not quite sure, or the invoice, sorry, so you're not sure why, so you've messaged your customer, so you've just put a little note in there, it's not adding up, not sure why, spoken or left a message, or sent an email to XYZ to find out. It's just an opportunity for you to add some notes so you don't forget and ask questions of your colleagues or something. Um, I will point out here, if it is you're asking a question of your colleagues, they won't get a notification of it. So you would just need to drop them an email or a Slack message or whatever messaging service you use and just say, oh, I've left you a couple of notes in the Discuss on the bank rec. Can you have a look for me? Um, so yeah, so that in a nutshell is bank rec. And the idea is obviously to match up all of the items so this is left at the end of it with nothing left to do and that means that everything 
coming through from the bank is then reconciled, which is matched up in zero, it's recorded. Um, and it then means that you've got up to date accounts to run your reports and things like that. <laughs>